hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel make pm in today's video we will solve a problem on gear train so you can see that this is a pretty large gear train and uh, let's see what is asked in the question figure shows a gear train in which b and c constitute a compound gear so gear b and gear c are compound gear so speed of the gear b or revolution of gear b and c will be same so nb is equal to nc these are the speed of gear B and gear C. A number of teeth are shown in the figure. Yes, uh, for gear A is 40, gear B 30, for C is 70, and similarly given. Determine the speed and the direction of rotation of the wheels A and E if the arm revolves at 240 RPM clockwise. So suppose clockwise is plus and counterclockwise is minus negative so we will draw a table for this type of uh, gear trains which has arm you have to draw a table and uh, in previous problem also i told you how to draw the table but here again i will tell you we have to write actions here what actions you are taking then uh, speed of different gears here for arm speed of arm or revolution of arm here then for gear a we will make a column for gear b and c has same speed and same revolution so for gear c b and c will be only one column for gear d one column and for gear e sorry for gear e also we will have one column for all the gears you have to draw a column so first action will be in any of these type of problems first we will assume that arm a is fixed a is fixed and this first gear is given one revolution a is given plus one revolution so when arm a is fixed so speed of the a will be zero or revolution of here uh, arm a will be zero and uh, a we have written here is we have given one revolution so it will be one only for gear b and c what will be the number of revolution so two gear a and b are matching so na upon nb will be equal to tb upon ta so a is given one revolution so na will be one one by nb because revolution and speed are proportional to each other so we are considering it similar to uh, uh, revolution is similar to speed so 1 by nb is equal to tb tb is on gear b we have 30 teeth upon ta is 40 so nb is 40 upon 30 or 4 by 3 so here we will have 4 by 3 and gear 1 is rotating in clockwise direction so gear 2 will uh, we will rotate in counterclockwise direction so here we will have a minus sign now gear d how will gear d rotate so gear c and gear d are in contact so nc by n nd is equal to td upon tc okay so we have uh, td is equal to 40 and tc we have 70 so speed of gear d and d will be 70 by 40 into nc and nc we have already calculated because speed of gear B and gear C are same so we can write ND is equal to 70 by 40 or 7 by 4 into NC is equal to NB and NB we have already calculated as 4 by 3 so ND will be 7 by 4 into 4 by 3 which is equal to 7 by 3 so it is 7 by 3 and uh, this gear was rotating clockwise gear a gear b will be counterclockwise so this will be again clockwise 
so it will be plus now gear e gear e will rotate how nd upon ne is equal to te upon td so ne will be equal to nd into td upon te so nd we have already calculated 7 by 3 so it is 7 by 3 into td td is 40 divided by te is 60 so 7 by 3 into 4 by 6 so it will be if we divide it by 2 so it will be 2 by 3 7 into 2 14 by 6 9 so it will be 14 by 9 and this is clockwise so it will be in opposite direction in counterclockwise direction so this is one row in next row we will give x revolutions a is fixed again and we will give a uh, gear a plus x revolution so this will be zero again and instead of one revolution we will give x revolution and uh, everything will be multiplied by x 7 by 3 x minus 14 by 9 x and in the uh, in next row and in last row we will revolve arm 2 so arm is not fixed anymore so arm will be given as plus y revolution so here instead of 0 it will be plus y and here x plus y everything will be added with plus y y minus 4 by 3 x y plus 7 by 3 x y minus 14 by 9 x now we have already written all the speeds in the last row here for any gear if you have to calculate anything you can calculate now read from the problem determine the speed and the direction of rotation of wheels a and wheel e so we have to find for wheel a and e and what is given we have to find the speed and arm revolves at 210 rpm clockwise and the gear d is fixed so n a and n e we have to find and d is zero because gear d is fixed and y is 210 rpm clockwise it is clockwise so it is plus so we can write it in the equations you can see from here <coughs> for gear d it is saying that uh, it is fixed so this uh, rotation of the gear d will be zero so y plus 7 by 3x y plus 7 by 3x will be equal to zero and y is already given 210 rpm plus 7 by 3 x is equal to 0 so 7 by 3 x is equal to minus 210 so x will be equal to minus 210 into 3 by 7 so it is minus 90 rpm so we have found the value of x minus 90 so we have to find the value of n a and n e so for gear a for gear a you can see that speed is x plus y so n a is x plus y which is equal to x is minus 90 and y is 210 so you can see 120 rpm this is plus so it will be in clockwise direction so gear a will rotate with 120 rpm in clockwise direction and for gear b gear e for gear e you can see that this is gear e last last column y minus 14 by 9 x y minus 14 by 9 x is the gear speed of the gear e 
so you can write the values y is already we know 210 minus 14 by 9 into x is minus 90 so it will be equal to 210 minus and minus will be plus 140 so it will be equal to 350 rpm in clockwise direction because it is positive so you can see we have already found the speeds of the gear a and gear e so if you can draw the table like this for any problem um, of this type of elliptical gear or planetary gear then you can easily solve the problem by putting these values and uh, for every problem procedure is same you have to draw the three actions and find the speed i hope you understood the problem if you have any problem then please ask in the comment section and thanks for watching my video please subscribe to me